I'm going to try to put some cuttings into this newly made propagation box and just see how they do. So I've mostly been propagating in water and pretty much only pothos so far. So this will be kind of an interesting experiment. Um, but yeah, I've got my cuttings ready, got my propagation box good to go. And I also have some stim root or rooting hormone that I just got at Ritchie for $5.99. But I'm going to show you a little bit more about the box to start. So this I just picked up at Canadian Tire and it was $3. So you can see it's a six liter shoe box apparently. And I filled it with, I would say a few inches of sphagnum moss. This is actually left over. Uh, from when I propagated my colocasia. And as of yet, I haven't drilled holes in the top. I think I'm just going to open the lid every day to make sure that there's some aeration for the different cuttings. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's, I just put the sphagnum moss in. I know some people use soil, but I'm going to see how this goes. Maybe I'll add some later. So here's the cuttings I'm going to start out with. I have two super easy ones, the Pothos. I have the Marble Queen. She's got a node there. And I've got a Golden Pothos. Also got a node. I'm going to try some String of Spades. I've never tried to propagate this before, so that'll be interesting. I've got three watermelon peperomia that I cut at the stem and they were in water but they just weren't doing anything. Maybe they're just slower, like they don't look like they're rotting or anything but I don't know, no roots formed so we'll see. We'll see if they do better in the higher humidity. And then I have my Maranta. And it's got that weird thing going on. I don't know what that is because Mirandas don't really have nodes in the same way that a pothos does. So that's an interesting feature. And then I have two cacti that I'm going to give a shot in there. My thought is that it's going to be too humid and maybe they'll just rot, but we'll give it a try anyways. This is a rickrack cactus cutting, and rickrack cacti are jungle cacti, so maybe they can tolerate a little bit more. But yeah, I just cut that clean right across. And, or I think this, I think I said Christmas cactus earlier maybe, but this is, I believe, a Thanksgiving cactus. And again, I just cut it right across. So yeah, it'll be fun to see how these all work. So what I'm gonna do is, you know what, I think I'm gonna set my camera up on a little stand. That way I can dip them in the rooting hormone without spilling anything. Okay, so I have my camera set up on a stand, got my rooting hormone. Let's just get these puppies in here. So we'll start with the Maranta. I'm gonna dip it right in. Tap the excess off. It's just a really fine powder. And then we'll just find a little spot for it in the moss. Now I'll do the same. These I cut really long actually. I'm wondering if they're gonna fit. They were initially for like a vase. We'll do the same, we'll do rooting hormone. Can I put them kind of sideways? Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. Okay. 
I hope these ones work out because I was going to give whatever plant comes of the watermelon pepperonia cuttings to my sister. And then most of the other ones, there's like a local trade sort of thing coming up in my city. And I would like to have some rooting cut, rooted cuttings available. We'll do the golden pothos now. It's a little harder to fit in the jar. Uh oh. Okay, it's a little stuck now. Oh darn. Okay. I bent the stem, but it's out. Should be fine. Just put it up in front of the Maranta. Okay. Do the Marble Queen next. I'm just making sure there's root stem on the node. Pop her in there. So it's kind of occurring to me I should have gotten a taller box. It's okay though, there are, I've just kind of slanted them all sideways, so I think that'll be fine. Then we'll do the Thanksgiving cactus. Okay, I ran out of storage on my phone for a minute there, so I had to take a brief pause to delete a bunch of videos. But I'm back. And as you can see, the Thanksgiving cactus is in the prop box. So now we'll just do the Rick Rack cactus. And all the videos I've seen of people propagating a Rick Rack cactus are just in soil. So I kind of suspect that is the best way to do it, but it doesn't hurt to try. And then for my string of spades, I don't really know where to put rooting hormone on this. Like just at the end, I guess. Hmm. I don't know where the growth points are. I think maybe at the leaf. So yeah, maybe we just won't bother. Because I think if I put it down like you would with a string of hearts, it'll just form roots like where the little leaves attach. Uh-oh. See, this is a problem on the actual plant. It gets tangled all the time. So I'm just going to pop these in here where there's some extra real estate on the sphagnum moss. And I do want them to be able to fit in a pot, so I'll try to do it like in a bit of a smaller circumference. Okay, and I will just wrap this one up and do the same. All right, so there we go. Propagation box is all loaded and ready to go. The sphagnum moss is already damp, so I'm just gonna pop the lid on and put it into the sun. Not direct sunlight though, because I kind of feel like that might cook these things, but we'll do indirect bright light. Okay, so here is an update on some of my other propagation projects. Um, in the last video, I tried to propagate this colocasia and it has gone amazingly well. I'm so surprised, but look at, those roots are huge, it's been like a week. I'm really impressed, this thing I think is just really prolific, <laughs> but it's super cool. So one of those plants is going to go to my friend Rachel, and then maybe I'll bring one to the plant swap. But I think in theory I have three total. And then I've got some other stuff on the go. I've got my little neon pothos in water. It's got some roots starting there, doing really well. This I literally just did today. 
and it's like this cool vintage propagation station I got at the thrift store pre-COVID. And I've got, I think, three different types of peperomia in here. So I have the piccolo banda. Oh, sorry, little guy. I've got the um, peperomia napoli. And then on the other side, we've got the peperomia rosso. So results pending on that one. We'll see how it goes. But my friend Rachel also gave me these uh, Mikan's cuttings and also this Pothos um, Pearls and Jade. And they are doing so amazing. I was thinking about putting them into the prop box, but they're just doing like perfectly fine in water. So why bother, I guess? I don't know. Don't fix what's not broken. And then as you can see, the Mikans is doing great too in my little teapot. It's such a beautiful plant. It's hard to come by around, um, around Ottawa where I live. So it's really grateful for this cutting. Because normally they sell for like, I don't know, 15 to $30, depending on the seller. And that's kind of crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have on the go for propagation. Actually, you know what? I do have one more over here. And it's just another pothos. It's another golden pothos that I've got. You can see a root there, actually. But it's just in damp sphagnum moss, too. So thanks for watching. I will try to post an update ASAP. And let you know how the prop box is going. I'm still planning on opening it up every day just to get some airflow and to keep the sphagnum moss moist. So there's Demo looking very cute sunbathing. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye.